Hey guys, how's it going today? I just wanted to make a really quick video for all you PC players out there, and just in case you haven't seen one of the other probably hundred videos on YouTube or haven't Googled it or anything like that, I wanted to show you how to change your frame rate cap from 60 FPS in Dead by Daylight to 120 FPS. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down here and open or type in run. And you're going to want to take this code right here, which I will provide in the description, and enter it into the run application, and just enter. And then scroll through this till you find Dead by Daylight. Open the Dead by Daylight folder, and open the Save folder. Open the Config folder, and open the Windows No Editor folder. And then you're going to want to look for the file that says Game User Settings right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open it and scroll down towards the bottom and you're going to see a frame rate limit right here. All you're going to want to do is type in 120 and that's how you adjust the frame rate right there. Easy as that. Um, while we're in here, just a couple extra tidbits in case you didn't know and wanted to change them. The game naturally runs in borderless mode. If you want to change it to full screen, like for instance, if you have a lower end PC and you're struggling to get that 120 frames per second, running it in windowed mode can help improve frames. So these three settings right here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change the ones to zeros on all of them. So you're going to go zero, zero, and zero. I have no problem at all running it in borderless, and I much prefer the borderless for this game at least anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at ones. Um, some more information or settings you can change in here is your display settings. Uh, like, if, for instance, I originally played on a 1920 by 1080 monitor. But I have upgraded to a 2560 by 1440 monitor since. So for these four settings right here you're just going to want to change them accordingly the x axis ones are going to be your 2560 and your y is going to be their 1440 or whatever you're trying to run if you're trying to run above 1080 uh you go ahead and enter them in there accordingly um some more settings in here that you can change like i changed my sensitivities for my mouse or killer or not mouse but controller for killer and survivor in here and i do predominantly play with xbox controller when i play dead by daylight just because it's a game i like to sit back and relax and play from a dis not really a distance but i like to sit back and relax and i don't like to be all up on my desk with my eyes in the huge 32 inch monitor that i have currently that i game on um a little harsh on the eyes so i go ahead and just play on the controller and i Found, I don't know if it was just a temporary bug or if it would happen for everybody, but anytime I go in game and I change the settings in game, it automatically, just every time I reloaded the game, it had changed back to the default 50 value. And I didn't like that, so I went ahead and changed them in here. And then you can also change your volume and whatnot in here. And I wouldn't recommend touching too many things in here just because. Like, for instance, your skill check factor, uh, you mess with that, you might get yourself in trouble. But aside from that, um, make sure your full screen is at true. And then your screen resolution, again, if you're on a low-end PC and you're trying to get that 120 frames per second, but you're struggling a little bit, you can always drop this down to 80 or 90 or whatever you need accordingly to get that 120 frames. It will affect your resolution obviously it can make the image quality a little bit worse depending on what you put it to but another cool thing in here is these are actually all of your preset settings so in game when you choose your preset setting for graphics because it doesn't go into advanced settings or anything on dead by daylight you just have ultra high medium and low i believe they are i play on ultra because my pc is more than capable of handling it but if you, again, if you have a lower end GPU and you're struggling to hit the 
120 frames. You can always change them to custom values in here. Uh, the best way to do that is to go in game. And if you're on a low end PC, uh, set your preset to medium and medium is going to be value of two. And when you come in here, it'll be all twos. And then what you can do is you can go through and if you want your shadow quality decreased or increased, you go ahead and just enter the according number four being ultra and two being medium, one low, three is high. And so you can basically create custom qualities in there or customize your quality of the visuals completely in there. Um, again, I have a pretty high-end PC, so I just leave it all at 4, such as that, which is Ultra. And you can also change the resolution quality right here as well. You can actually, I believe it's the one down here, you can give it a boost in screen resolution. Like, for instance, if you have a high-end PC like me, I, I could put this to 150 and it's going to give me a clearer picture, and I'm still not going to struggle to hit the 120 FPS, like, at all. I personally just don't like doing that, because really no need. Not a uh, super competitive game, as far as I'm concerned. It's just a game to, you know, play and have some fun on. So I leave that alone, and that's going to pretty much do it, other than you just want to remember to hit File and Save, and mine's saying to save as a new folder or file simply because I personally always set it to read only after I edit the settings. I always set it to read only. I found if I didn't set it to read only, every time I'd open the game, it would reset the settings. And that got very frustrating having to go back in and change them and whatnot. So I do recommend you set it to read only after you have it all configured and whatnot. Um, and then one more thing you can do if you want to improve your image quality. Now, this isn't going to be for everybody, especially you people with lower end PCs. You're probably not going to want to do this. And I will say, even if you have a high end PC, it can cause crashing and whatnot because the game does not naturally support it. But you can go into your library, go to Dead by Daylight, close that out, go to Dead by Daylight, go to Properties, and in this launch ops and options right here, you can hit dash EX12, enter, or click out, and it'll force the game to open and run in DirectX 12, which will give you a little bit better quality. It can also boost your FPS on certain PCs. Um, again, it doesn't go past 120, but I found that running it in DirectX 12 caused the game to crash a little bit more often than not and it just wasn't really worth it to me it didn't give me too big of a visual you know graphical increase or anything like that and i have no problem hitting the normal 120 frames per second anyways so just wanted to make the video real quick for anybody that didn't know or hasn't seen it um and yeah that's how you do it but as always thank you for watching the video remember to leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel for further content i will be uploading that giveaway video within the next couple days so definitely stay tuned for that if you want a chance to win a 25 dollars amazon gift card i suggest you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications but other than that we're going to go ahead and end the video and hope this helped you guys out thanks